Nazi. Uh, what we talked about yesterday, sir. It's just Commitment. give me, Effort. give me, give me, give me. Just give me. And and you know, I don't mind giving, but like it's like, you know, the the most insane amount of fucking ADHD, you know? It's like, hey, you can get this if you do this. All right. Because you just want them to give back. And then it's like an hour later, they're doing something else. And now it's been a couple of days. It's crazy. It's not even just one. It's everybody. It's everybody. They just want, you know what? I think, I think they think I got a panel here where I can just press this button and I got a class two gun or something. Well, holy shit. I need to ru run a press release. Max had that. I don't have that. Hmm. Or it makes alternatively, sense. what if I get one? Uh, so I don't know. Will Will it help you, sir? It would. I'm just think about it. You know, uh, someone busts through this door and I pull out a Tommy gun. That'd be pretty sick. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't think I've had enough coffee yet. <laughs> you need a minute, sir? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, I do want to say some things before <laughs> we actually dwell into the conversation. Um, I love knocking on walls. Dude. Honestly, I came in here yesterday. Wasn't It wasn't my idea to show the full commitment I'm willing to go f through. Being, you know, going for chief. It's actually more to give more of a support for you mm. to whatever it is you have planned. Okay. But if that's the idea that you have for me, I wouldn't mind it. Because um, my idea was to support whatever plan that you in conjunction with whoever you think is best for the role and be the, the, the best supporter of it as possible. Because I want to see the PD in a different place. I want to. I want to see it evolve. Because right now, um, the only thing I see is people a bit dooming and glooming about transferring departments. Which is logical when you don't want to be in an apartment that's really, you know, that doesn't really suit your preference, which is fine. But they need to understand that this isn't a badge that you just wear willy-nilly and the the city needs its enforcers there mm. it needs their law enforcement that's what they need to understand that work and work to change it instead of just jumping ship um and the other thing that i wanted to mention as well is when i mentioned consistency i think i think i transmitted the wrong idea of it because when okay. I say consistency, no worries, no worries. You can retransmit it to me, you know. If yeah. Because like. when I say consistency, because uh, I understand. Oh, sorry. Let me just. Sorry. Let me turn this off. Uh, yeah. When I say consistency, uh, I got I got what you're trying to say with uh, dealing with a plethora of situations. So my intentions with consistency is on the teaching base, the the foundation level. Because if you have a good foundation level, you can adapt to any shift, theoretically. That's what I think of consistency. When I say consistency, I mean on communication level, radio, uh, on how they interact with people, seeing how they approach people, uh, basic RS and PC, stuff of that nature. That's the bread and butter of being a police officer. That's what I mean by consistency. Because I got frustrated a lot of times, and I... I it's so frustrating when I come on duty and I see a person document a car away and then the next person over documents the car a different way, which is wrong. It, it, it Just because it, it, they didn't get taught the same way. There wasn't any consistency in the teaching. That's the consistency that I'm bothered with. Because uh, obviously, we... And it was what I said yesterday with SOPs. We have SOPs, which is standard operating procedures. They're not an answer for every scenario. They're, they don't apply to every scenario specifically because okay. we are supposed to have the idea of the SOPs to adapt to every scenario that we encounter because that's what I think you were trying to say, right? With having a shift that's more hectic versus a shift that's a bit more calm-sided. 
Um, mm. Those yeah. are the two main things that I wanted to approach. And also, I, I kind of want to thank you a bit because it, it actually made me see a lot of the things uh, that I disagreed and agreed with. And I kind of ignited something more in me to trying to make a change regardless of the outcome of this conversation and regardless of the outcome of the plan to try and do better. I like Dana a lot. Sense. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. um, the hardest conversation, it doesn't matter if you're a gang. It doesn't matter if you're PD. Everyone thinks they're better than the next person. It's just the facts of reality. Everyone thinks that they're the fucking God's gift to Earth. And um, that their circle is the most important thing uh, in Los Santos. And uh, honestly, there's very few people or circles that break from that fold. Now, the thing is, um, whether people want to believe it or not, it's my job to go out there to make sure that things are not turning into world war Right now, my biggest goal is to make sure that we don't have, um, you know, World War Three, right? Yeah. Um, now, the layman is going to say, oh, that's not a problem because the marshals have tanks. That's kind of a brain-dead way of looking at things, right? You don't want things to get to the point where, you know, like the, the feds come in. Right. Yeah, just because we have the tools is not necessarily mean we have to use them. Exactly. Yeah, at that stage, you might as well give up anyways, right? Because you just say, fuck yep. it, let just people figure it out, and if it goes bad, let the feds come in. Um, the reality of the matter is most of the population lives in my jurisdiction. So what do I have to say? I have to say, how do I maintain a healthy atmosphere? My immediate problem, right, and the way that I, the, the immediate policy I'm setting, and this extends to any bcso that comes down here is that the way the police operate will not be hey well this happens in new york or hey you know um someone did this thing because i'm fucking captain america i need to do exactly this thing you know what i mean no mm -hmm. in shift one you maintain your demeanor right yeah you maintain the notion of keeping in the back of your minds that if you misstep you don't have the numbers it something is not necessary the escalation should not be used because just assuming you're going to wake up at the hospital is is not the way in shift two there are you are dealing with the most dangerous individuals in the fucking city just because you may fe are justified to do something does not change the fact that making a hard heart like very violent decision to try to on an off chance get a capture may mean the fucking city burning down and and you know uh that's kind of where this whole you know you need someone to look after eve shift that's got a pulse comes to play right i feel like i've seen what you're trying to say when uh us and shift one there's a lot more measurement of resources comparing to what we're facing rather than in shift two, there's an unnecessary urge to match the energy of the opposition for some odd reason. Yes, exactly. Now this stance that I am describing mm -hmm. sometimes gets met by just frankly stupid people, right? Because they don't value their life, whether they're uh, an officer or not. Where they will say, I will jeopardize or or of the citizenry. Where they'll say, I will jeopardize this civilian's life because I want to get this person. Because I'm allowed to get this person. And then when a bunch of cops are bleeding out on the fucking ground, right? They're like, well, didn't get them this time. Well, how do you know that half your fucking cops are going to wake up at the hospital tomorrow. That that civilian that may have been a hostage or, or whatever, who might have gotten shot up, is going to wake up at the hospital tomorrow. And then if those things happen, yes, 
did those criminals put you in that circumstance? Sure. But the police department themselves have that responsibility as well over those lives when they made the decision. I mean, I hate to bring up like, uh, you know, these kind of examples, but, you know, when, when the United States invaded Iraq or Afghanistan or whatever, right? I don't think there was anyone that was like, all right, well, there's a bunch of terrorists, right? In that building over there, right? We're allowed to go inside. Let's go rush B. And then when a bunch of soldiers died, it was like, well, you know, we we're allowed to do it, you know? Like, what? You get what I, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I do. You gotta maintain a level of order to then allow room to build up the de department. And as the department builds up, uh, both in numbers, in experience, and in like uh, the ability to kind of like work together, like the cohesion. Now you can step the pressure up a little bit, right? But right now, this the 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 current ragtag force that is in the PD goes and rushes B. Y'all are just gonna be on the ground for for God knows how long. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, I mean, that's why. Regardless, when when I do have more a bit more like room to to move and have more you know more say in things, I want to give the ability to the people to attack a problem with whatever resources they have, without any surplus. For example, you notice that a certain group is selling a lot of weed. I want you to go attack that problem with whatever resource you have to your disposal. That doesn't mean getting a bunch of fancy stuff from the mayor's office. Meaning you go take pictures, talk with the people, rush B try initiative. and get as much information as you can. Exhaust every possible tool that you have without any special things. And then <laughs> come to me and say, well, Dana, I, I don't have enough resources to do this. I tried this and this and that and the other. Can I, is there something we can do? And then we can talk about other things. I want people to use their brain first instead of using the tools first. That's what I want them to do. So when they are handling situations, they use their brain first instead of going instantly for the tools. Try to stop the cars in any way by means necessary before escalating to proper or to more yeah. dangerous means. Yes. Doing proper investigations before using the high tech tools for it when it could have been just a random Joe Schmo selling weed. Yeah. That's what I want him to do. Yeah. Have it the proper escalation of means. Yeah. Not just outside, you know, dealing with every situation, just proper escalation in thinking. Like assessing situations and getting information. That's what I want them to do first. Because I don't think any of them do. Um, yeah, that's of kind of are... that. That's kind of the thing. And here's look. Let me be transparent, Dana. Right. I don't know you too yes. well, but I I think you're a good officer, right? Um, mm -hmm. and I think you've got the right mentality. And um, the wrong mentality is what has led the this force to deteriorate. A lot have put blame on, like, Cyprus, Changgang, Hydra. They're like, oh my god, you know, they're fucking, fucking us up. And then pointing the finger instead of looking inward, right? And uh, that is not the way I operate, right? Uh, everyone, the way I operate is the way that the way I expect others underneath me to operate is the same way op I operate. When there is failure, you find a solution and you reattempt. You never brute force. Brute forcing is someone came in here and they told me that the solution to numbers is hire 40 cadets and bring them in academy. Now, that's not going to happen because that's fucking brain dead. Um, no, it's hiring isn't working. Readjust the hiring. Right? When it works, then you scale up. 
This is something that's been solved hundreds of years ago. It's not a new concept, right? For some, it might be, but it's it's not actually. What also is not a solution is we can't catch PP. Let's get interceptors. Once again, brain dead McDonald's manager logic, you know, um, and that is just not going to vibe with the LSPD um, under my reign, right? Uh, Because none of those things lead to success. You know, this Hydra thing, right? The wipe you guys had, Mm. it happens, right? Shit's going to happen, right? I don't know the details, but I'm just going to say, hey, things went bad. It's going to happen occasionally. But the solution, for example, to that is not going to be, hey, next time let's bring 20 class twos. (laughs) Right. From what I've heard, the different the, the plan of attack should have been a whole completely different because it put a sure. lot of people in one tunnel. No, no, sure. Like whatever it is. Like I don't know the details, but I uh, nor do I need to, but but that's exactly it. It shouldn't be oh fuck, it's the end of the world. I mean it kinda is, right? But it should be like, okay, what could we have done different? Right? And then move on, right? Instead of mm-hmm. seething. Or alternatively, seething in the direction of like, A, this is never going to be possible. B, seething internally, pointed fingers. Or three, seething and saying we need better equipment. No. At the end of the day, tactics, strategy, and using a little bit of, I don't know, prep. And you know why I know it's a prep problem? Because I got to convince cops that they need to get their reports done when a scene is done. And every time I hear a bullshit excuse about, well, other shit's happening in the city, I know they're dumb. Or they're lying to my face. Because there is always something else going on. That number two, that that it would ever take more than fifteen minutes, unless like you know you type with your like your, your dick or something, you know what I mean? Where like you got five words a minute. Or number three, they don't actually give a shit if the 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 thing goes to court and they lose. All of those things, the reality is, you know what the real answer is? They're chasing the pogs. Like I don't know how else to put it. They're done. They had their chase. They did it. Now nah, we want to go do the next thing, right? Everything else is, 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 um, is, uh, what do you want to call it? it? Everything else is just, um, you know, an excuse. Like it's coming up with some bullshit, you know, to justify stupid behavior. And until those basics start to get implemented throughout the police force, you guys are just going to keep on failing. Right. I mean, I don't even know. Like what I heard yesterday, Dana, and I'm sorry. It's not, I'm probably it sounds like I'm lecturing you directly. I just want you to understand my position, right? Is that no, I understand. when I heard about what happened yesterday, it wasn't even the, the that that the PD got wiped that was concerning to me, right? I mean, it was to a degree, right? But it was learning that it was a murder. It was stemming from a murder. And then learning that there was an incompetent, quote-unquote, detective that was put on it. And then learning that nobody was looking over it at a command level and being like, this needs to get done swiftly. And then learning that it was signed, like, because the excuse was, oh, well, he got fired, so someone else had to do it. The guy got fired two days prior. What happened the days prior to that? And so then when it was signed, right, then why did it take so many days to pull, pull, pull the trigger? What the fuck was happening in the city that was so bad that you're like, fuck this murder investigation, right? Which then implies that if it was done like last second because, as I heard, the statute of limitation was going to end, it's like, oh, cool, so you guys just process procrastinated so fucking long, right? Instead of saying like, hey, we got like, I don't know, six days left to execute this. We need to do this tomorrow 
and you fucking broadcast out like, you know, hey, huge raid. We need everyone here, all right, on this time, right? And then y'all show up, and, and when, when they show up, you got a plan of execution. But instead, it's very transparent, right? I don't even need to be there that that it was just YOLO'd. And yeah, you might blame this guy or blame that guy or this guy, like who told them to go in the tunnel or like who did this or who did that. The reality is everybody was lazy. Command should have been looking over it. Whoever was leading it should have been pushing the, the thing. It's a collective failure of the entire department. And until it's seen that way, there will be no step forward. It's just going to be throw this guy under the bus, throw this person under the bus, blame the tools, this and that, all kinds of fucking baby shit. See where it's I'm coming from, Dana? It, it stems from the, the two major problems that I said yesterday. Communication and effort. You know, it's just... It's what it is. Just, just like Communication popping off. Communication on the day of the thing to see what's the best solution or best outcome of it. And the effort of having people... Because if you if you saw the history of the detective department and this police department, it's always been a very broad um, subject because no one wants to commit that hard to f make the fine lines for it. It's always been like that. It's always been very unstable. And as soon as they see one person committed to investigations, they dump it onto that person. Yep. I had a. I That's had why we're not having yesterday. a DA, by the way. Uh, Abilene really wants like a DA's office. I'm like, fuck no. All that's going to do is every f fucking lazy cop's going to start sending her the stuff. Yep. And she yep. may I, I, be excited I, I by the title, but her. I'm not interested in a DA's office and, and that sort of thing because that's just going to produce shit cops. You know what I mean? You, you know, you want to know something? I have, I have people that call me specifically for bench trials because they know I can no. verse myself pretty well in objections. No. And... These pussies need to go into court and, like, learn to lose. That's that's why I, I always tend to not go. Yeah. I like helping. Don't get me wrong. That's why I, I built a, a, a proper report explaining objections, what court etiquette you should have. I don't blame all those things, giving them the, the PD tool with that mentality. Be, because there's a long term cancer within PD much. that expected every court case to be so, a win. Which is why was, MC was again, so annoying. It was very RP driven. We were designed to. It's always going to be the running problem. Lose when we needed to and learn from it. You know, the way that it works IRL and people were crying their asses and off. Then you like, have people. Oh my God! You guys lost the court to case run away of some from it and tool get a technology the thing. And they realize the department or the problem is going to remain there. It's not changing the department. It's going to change anything. Sim RP, bro. The people will still exist. The 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 problems will still exist. Yeah, it's tells his new just, cop. You're just fooling yourself at that point. Yeah, agreed. Um, here's the thing, Dana. Right, I like your mm -hmm. attitude. I like where your head's at. Uh, but transparently, you just have not been around, right? Yeah. Um, now, uh, and because of that, there is uh, no way you're gonna be able to very quickly. My my issue would be. Let's say, you were my top choice, right? Um. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, she can grow into that position, which I don't have a problem with. That would be weeks and weeks and weeks of effort. But instead, um, you know, I, I got some thinking to do because my problem right now is there's like one legitimate candidate. And um, the thing that I've been having rattle in my mind is, do I want the PD to pick and choose who they want as their leader? And that might be what I end up doing. Um, meaning... Uh, if that's something you're interested in, I may put your name on on that. I haven't decided yet. You know, that's a that's a that's just something I've been spitballing. Because um, at the end of the day, right? Um, I know there's a lot of uh, agitation amongst the cops, so uh, over a bunch of stupid shit, and I don't necessarily want to deal with their brain damage. So I I may just do like a here are the three choices, pick one. And then let LSPD pick senior plus or officer plus vote, something like that. Um, and even though realistically the... you may end up losing that, that doesn't matter because even if you did, I'd want 
to work with you directly to make sure I'm tapped in. But sorry, go okay. ahead, Dana. Do you mind me asking who the other choices are? I know. I know um, what I've been, I've been I've been told anybody sure. because, um, you know, I know how drama filled the PD is right now. Mhm. Mm so. I don't care about drama. I don't. I know, I don't but. Any There's a, I I maintain a standard with everybody. If okay. I break my standard with you, then I break it with somebody else, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you know what I mean? That's fine. But yeah, you you I I think you would be right. I don't think I would uh I would win in any capacity. But uh whatever you want to go with, uh I want you to know that I'll be here regardless. Okay. To help in any step that you want me to take. Because I want to make this apartment better. Good shit. Um, let me ask you something. Who are your top three over the course of your experience for who you think would make for a good chief of police? Be it in this department, be it in BCSO, or even outside this department. Because I don't mind flying in chiefs. <laughs> That's I don't I don't think I can answer that question. Well, I mean, to the best of your knowledge, look, I I'm not. When I evaluate things, it's not like I'm taking what you tell me and putting it in as like an equal vote, right? It's a weighted opinion, right? I'm whatever you say. I know you, you know, I know the backgrounds of where you're coming with the answer from. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't, I think in the whole thinking process of it realistically I think there's only one person that I would say realistically could do good with it. Yeah. Which would be uh Anita May. Oh. To me, my opinion, even though mm. I would be going again, a bit against my argument of people from the old, people from the 5 years ago mindset. Yeah. I think she's a bit different from the rest in the terms of how she operates and how she deals with people. I think she shows a bit of the experience and how to talk to people and try to seek advice because she's the only person that I've seen actually interested in talking is, to people and trying to learn their perspective is he not and so trying sure to on Role play. put things on a scale where I haven't been met with resistance like I did, for example, with Lieutenant Viv, where she is... Very stubborn yeah, remember, I'm not an admin of a our peer, if it, so... If it goes against her mindset, she doesn't want to change it. it yeah, milking very, the content. It's going to end up with her frustrating the person she's talking to, she's, and it's going to end up with her frustrating herself, and it's going to be a bad thing overall, I feel like. So, realistically, Anita would be the only <laughs> name I would ever bring up, because I don't think anybody else... Maybe... Maybe Sky Fay. Uh, I need. I. I would need to because I've. I've been with her a bit and uh, I know what she's capable of. I think. I don't know if she would be good as a chief. Maybe assistant chief. But, yeah. The Those problem would be, is maybe um, the two names that I would reference. The problem is uh, that it would need to be shift one and shift two, uh, and I know that might make shift three people mad. But the reality of the matter is. Uh, prime time is shift one and shift two. And yeah. uh, the biggest situations, the most uh, recorded situations happen then, right? And there needs to, ignoring that factor is is a recipe for disaster. You know what I mean? That's why when yesterday, when I started my speech, I mentioned the, the, the three, the chief, assistant chief, and captain. To have one more, probably the captain role, more cater for the shift three people to not just leave them, you know, to not just leave them in the corner, but show mm -hmm. them a bit of consideration because they do have, I, I yeah. you know, cause I have a tendency to patrol, uh, between the keep, keep shift in three mind, and shift one. Keep in mind, Dana, that the chief mm -hmm. can, there's nothing stopping a chief from having someone oversee shift three at the highest position and shift two at the highest position and, someone had shift one they could have three people right yeah like a chief of police and an ass chief is really administrative they i i understand that 
you know, maybe people look back at like Pred being out in the field and doing this and this and this, but it's kind of a, a foolish point because yeah, if you have your general out on the field, right, doing the pits and doing the arrests, yeah, that's cool, right? But they have a big administrative job. And so, um, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, uh, I am of the hot opinion that if it was chief, ass chief, uh, or like, chief and then like two co ass chiefs I, I don't know right they don't know the federal mm -hmm. restrictions um that's i don't care if that happens or doesn't happen that's up to the the chief you know and and how to look over yeah. shift three and whatever needs to be done but you know um i also equally would think that if anyone is worried about like ranks and positions and not the overall picture that in and of itself is a bigger issue but let's run it back you said anita uh, you mentioned Sky Fay. What? Who else did you name? Sorry. I just named those two. Okay. And uh, mm. realistically, I think those are the only two that I can name that I would okay. think would share a semblance of my mindset. Who would you fly in? Fly in. Yeah. Or people that are already flown in doesn't really matter. I don't think I would know anyone, sir. Uh, uh, Conan Clarkson. Oh, who? Oh, um. Uh. Shit, I'm sorry, who sir? else? Uh, yeah, he's a. Uh, used to be the warden. Oh. Um. I think he's a cadet, isn't he? <sighs> yeah, ex-terrorist, ex-terrorist. Um. Oh. Uh fuck uh who am I? Um uh Tessa Lamb. Frank the Missile. Mm. I don't know if I can give an opinion on those people sure. Understood. Cause... Who do you yeah, think would I... not make for a good chief? Who would not make that realistically may be aiming for one i think i kind of already made my points on v uh, vivian gray uh what, what what is wrong with vivian i'm, I'm confused I, I didn't really pick up on what you were saying earlier so i i, I think she will be very stubborn in a sense where Regardless if she is wrong or right, she only sees her side of things. Because mm. I try to explain to her that she was wrong about charges. That made sense, what I was saying. And she chose to completely ignore it. Because she said, you're entitled to your opinion as I am entitled to mine. And went with her gut. Even though it was wrong. Isn't that inherently your job, though? How is it inherently my job when I have someone that, you know, She's when, your superior, when someone, right? sure. So, like, let's say, for example, I tell you what I've told you and you don't agree with it, then what? But the the reality is, sir, I, I like bringing up the facts and or points to why my reasoning, you know, why I'm doing this that way. To everything that I do in the field, I have a reasoning for. Hmm. My response is never going to be, oh, because it's in the SOPs. No. There's always a reasoning to what we do. I like explaining my point of view to make people understand what I'm saying and where I'm doing. If my, my answer is, this is my opinion and I'm going with it, that's not really constructive at any point. I see what it you're saying. You're saying she didn't give you a, uh, a constructive response. She didn't give me anything to go off of. Yeah. She said i'm uh, she basically it was equivalent of saying i'm a lieutenant and that's final which to me i would never do to anybody yeah. okay that, i could have been fair. the chief i could be the commissioner for all i care i would never do that i would never do something without giving a reasoning for it i i can respect that to be honest 
Okay. Because that's not <clears throat> if you don't give, especially when you're a role model. Because at that point you're a role model for the PD because you're above everybody and everybody looks up to you. If you don't give people explanations, it's as much as a magic trick. Yeah. Because you fool people with your magic, but you don't really explain it, which kind of just it just stays there. It it it, it allures Where you the to fuck is thinking Tilly? that it's right and that it looks cool. Bro, chat. Not. We need to find a replacement. It's just it, fucking it's, ridiculous. I, I, I don't like think four that's hours. A mentality for a police there's department. like Especially I don't know what what with how what low numbers that we have mm. consistently. If you're not bringing up people to learn to better themselves, it's never gonna go in any in any in any in any capacity. I I I can uh, I can see that. Um, Okay, is have you ha, has this happened more than once? Uh, I I can say it has. What was the second example? No, no, no. I I can't I can't say it has. I it was uh, one instance I had with her. Okay. Which to me is already a red flag to me. Because I think it's I important. A... I think it's important, Dana, that mm. um. You don't take a singular incident and then frame your entire, um, you know, uh, perspective on her. It happens too much in Los Santos, right? Um, like, yeah, no, for example, aware. Riker, right? Uh, I thought he was a piece of shit, right? I talked to him. I changed my mind. And uh, why? Over many conversations. And then I learned he was a dog-ass rat. <laughs> so I changed my mind again. And I think that's the healthy thing to do, you know. Uh, and uh, you know, it may, it's important to be considerate that, you know, uh, maybe she had her reasons to be blunt, and that may not be her general way of doing things. Now, if there was a pattern, now you got something right. Uh, I'm not saying you're wrong, mm -hmm. or invalidating what you just said because I agree that should not be how it is, um, but. Uh, you know, but take it for a, a singular incident until there's a pattern. Otherwise, it's a very dangerous mentality to have. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm saying this. It's not like, obviously, it it, it would change my opinion as to if she would be chief material or not. I mean, she's still mm. a lieutenant. That's worth something, right? Because she's yeah. earned that position in some aspect. Uh, but for me specifically, that's really you yeah. Know, there's there's morals that I have, and there's things that I uphold that I try to teach the people, and that isn't a way for me. That's good. Yeah, she might have had her reasons. She might have had, you know, or she might have made her decision about it. Might have been a one time thing. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But that's not a an attitude that I like. Yeah, 100%. And I think I'm, and I think I'm in my well in my space to think that you know. Yeah, that's not a proper mentality to have. I don't think that you know she wouldn't be a proper fit for the role yep. based off of that. Understandable. She could prove me wrong. That doesn't that doesn't mean she is not fit for a role forever. She could prove me wrong. Okay. Uh, is but there anything as, else you uh, want to discuss? I don't want to rush you out. It's just Tyler's been waiting like fifteen minutes. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, um, no, sir. But right. um, I would I would like to if you if you if you have any ideas for any role that i want you want me to take i want you to cook and it. then present it to me all right sorry tyler all right hey how's it going